Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pankaj and today we have Vineet, my friend, who is pursuing his Masters of Engineering in Electrical and Computer Engineering with a specialization in Applied AI. So most of the students here had several doubts on what the program is, what is the course structure. Since I was giving more information on only Masters in Computer Science, I thought we'll move a little ahead with Masters of Computer Science and we'll give a shift with uh, MEng in ENC, that is in, uh, Electrical and Computer Engineering. Uh, so we have Vineet. Vineet, could you please uh, give us little detail on when did you start the course, uh, how well did you progress, and what is your current status at UOTWA? Hi guys, uh, hi Pankaj, uh, thank you for having me here. And uh, yeah, so I have begun my masters in fall 2021. I have completed uh, six courses. I'm left with a course and a project to do. Probably I'll be doing it, doing that in fall 2022. And yeah. That's it. That's it about me. So, uh, we have Vineet. We have a lot, lot, lot to discuss uh, today regarding the course program, the different courses that he took in fall, winter, and about the co-op, about the project, and little keynote at the end uh, on uh, on what is his experience when he was doing a group project and so on. So, please be patient enough. Uh, enjoy the video. This video will definitely be helpful to you all. So let us begin. So Vineet, uh, if you could tell uh, the students something about the course structure and the program requirements, it would definitely be helpful. Yeah, sure. So this is a screenshot which uh, we have taken from the current program requirements. This as like recorded on June 17, 2022. So as seen, like I have divided the courses into a to H categories where A, B, C are compulsory. Uh, you have a list for D category, E category and for F category you have to take uh, one among those three courses and G is like you can take either from general engineering or electrical engineering at graduate level. So the graduate level means uh, at course level 5000 and above. So all these are uh, of worth three units whereas the project uh, either 5901 or 5902 is mandatory for this program unlike the general ECE and this comes under category H uh, like I have placed these categories uh, so that we can map and then uh, talk about it uh, in the next uh, I mean in the upcoming parts. So uh, I've seen like uh, D and E the like we need to do one course in D for sure and the other course of three units either from D or uh, like uh, either uh, from applications or foundations uh, in category E as part of category E. So um, there's one more question on co-op. Uh, how, how do you apply for co-op uh, in your program? Yeah, so uh, like uh, all the other programs, once you have been matriculated, that means you'd be able to see all the um, a lot of applications uh, in your UOZone. Just go to UOZone under the applications, just try to find Co-op Navigator. If you're not able to find this, that means you're not matriculated by the university yet. But as soon as you begin with your studies, you'll be able to uh, see this co-op navigator uh, probably in the first week of September itself. So once you have gone to that co-op navigator, uh, you will see you should where you can just click on enroll. So once you click on enroll into that co-op uh, navigator as shown here, uh, the current status would be then uh, pending and then your program name that is ECE with AI and the first expected work term would be 2023 summer. Uh, this is the screenshot from my uh, academic year, but for this academic year, it would be 2023 summer. That's all you need to do. And by the probably by the midweek of November, uh, they would be telling, they would be giving you a decision uh, about your co-op status. And if you are eligible, they would be sending you a, a supporting letter, which you can use it uh, to apply for the co-op visa with the help of international office. Uh, I think there's a, a video in your channel itself about the co-op you can point them to that. Yes, so there's a video in my channel itself on how to apply for co-op. 
uh, wherein I had mainly focused on Masters of Computer Science and today we are here with the program that most of the students actually wanted. Also uh, guys, I will be posting the links, uh, uh, the link that's mentioned in the slide. So I'll be mentioning about these links uh, in the description uh, below in the video so you can find uh, the links in the video of the description. The description of the video i'm so sorry and next so uh, you mentioned we need that it the project courses project specific course is not mandatory for eecs that is on without any that's the general specialization uh, and you mentioned that it is required for specialization in ai so could you please elaborate us uh, so that the students uh, find it helpful it becomes helpful for them to understand clearly like what is required and what is not required yes definitely so with in uh, ec with concentration in ai program so uh, there's a six credit project which is mandatory i have mentioned that comes under category h uh, as pointed earlier in this video so one has to do either elg 5901 or elg 5902 so 5 uh, 5901 it is electrical engineering project though the name is electrical engineering project you can also do a computer engineering project but for that you need to find a professor so there's a link uh, which will be pasted in the description of the video i suppose so uh, there you can just click go through that uh, which is pointing towards elg 5901 if you can go through that link there are there's a list of professors who are under uh, electrical engineering and computer science department of faculty of engineering you can approach them ask them for projects if they have project they would give you and assign it to you you can work on it and get that uh, six credit if not if you're not interested in this kind of project you can do an industry internship project which is uh, elg 5902 for this one you'll have to find a project on your own you and the mentor should uh, assign some documents you would be knowing that as part of a professional uh, skills course which is uh, mandatory again for this one i'll be talking about it uh, later in this video about that course uh, so ELG 5 industry internship project. So there's a professional development club in uh, UATWA. So they bring some projects uh, to us. So you can either enroll in the, uh, in such projects and complete it uh, as in order to gain six credits. So so the 5901 is where you'll be working under a professor, but 5902 is where you'll be working under some industry. So it's up to you if you want to choose 5901 or 5902, but one among that is mandatory for you to uh, get the degree of concentration in AI. Perfect. Thank you, Vineet, for the elaborated answer. Also, students, uh, if you have any doubts or any queries, I'll also be mentioning the LinkedIn profile of Vineet. Uh, you can connect to him and you can directly ask him questions or else you can also paste your questions in the description below and uh, we both will be happy to help you. Uh, moving ahead, uh, we will. We actually wanted the roadmap for course selection. Most of the students here now have uh, many questions regarding which course to take, which faculty is good, uh, what what is actually required in this any particular course. So Vineet, if you could help the students um, uh, like to give your experience on which courses that you took and which courses are really good, which can be completed easily, which is little difficult, which is very difficult and which course should not be taken. So could you please uh, give us some hint or could you explain us what what is the entire roadmap for the course selection uh, definitely before that I just want to uh, some give some suggestion to the students who are enrolling for this academic year so I would say I would uh, like uh, if I were you I would start with the winter uh, enrolling the winter courses first at uh, 8 a.m. Uh, Ottawa time on June 21st and then come back to fall courses because uh, uh, in winter they are uh, good courses which are being offered for AI specialization and but the number of seats are very less for the uh, for those courses so this is like a first come first serve basis so that's why uh, if I were you I would go and then first enroll into winter within 30 seconds and then come back to fall because uh, even 30 seconds matter a lot uh, 
yeah so this is some suggestion uh, so for uh, for the so this is this is a really very important point uh, students that please 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 st first enroll in the winter term as vinit said there are very good courses for the winter term uh, for ai specialization so this is coming from an experienced kai experienced person who has taken this particular program so moving ahead as we discussed we wanted to know what the students actually need to select for the fall term and the winter term courses so what do you need yeah so first as i said like uh, i asked you to enroll into winter first right i recommend you to but it's up to you like what how you are going to face that but uh, yeah so for winter courses uh, the first course i'm going i want to talk about is the ethics for design ai and robotics it is a mandatory course it's a compulsory course it's a category b course which i as mentioned previously in the video as seen you have uh, like you need to uh, look at the my available seats section the my available seat section is uh, like the seats number of seats available under your group so i i got to know from uh, the faculty of engineering team that uh, there are total of uh, 30 students including mns and masc who will be enrolling for this uh, uh, fall and winter uh, probably by winter uh, i mean yeah by winter you'll have a lot more students who will be joining us but then uh, on june 21st at 8 am there would be 30 students who would be competing for this thing out of those 30 probably uh, the ones who have started like me in the last fall must have completed the ethics in ai course but then uh, i know some of them uh, who couldn't get this course uh, last winter so they would be in trying to enroll in this winter so the seven the number of seats are uh, to be honest like less uh, when compared to the number of uh, uh, students uh, so and this is a mandatory course it's not it's not like a list of optional courses like in uh, d and e this is a mandatory course so, so that's why i emphasize like you need to come to the for winter first and then get this uh, course selected so in this course uh, ethics uh, so uh, there are five assignments and a project uh, so five assignments each assignment is of 10 marks of, for final and uh, the project is for uh, 35 marks yeah it's for 35 marks and there are 15 marks for quizzes like uh, the professor gives you a lot of content to read on a weekly basis and on that content you will have quiz so each quiz would weigh of uh, one mark for the final you'll have around 20 quiz quizzes and uh, 15 best uh, among those 20 would be considered uh, for your final grade so uh, 50 plus 35 is 85 plus 15 is 100 so if you get 90 and above it's good this is not uh, too technical it's very generic and i found it very useful uh, the, by the way the project is a group project the assignments are also group assignments so uh, but the quiz is uh, individual uh, yeah it's randomized you don't expect that uh, you and your batchmates would be able uh, would be getting the same questions it's not that kind yeah so overall this course is interesting uh, because i have never uh, thought about ai in that perspective so i got to know a lot i learned a lot the general things professor is uh, really good he has a lot of knowledge yeah so that's about ethics in ai this is a compulsory course you need to do it in winter for sure because for multiple reasons because you might be graduating in fall 2023 or else you would be extending the only uh, your term extra for only this course that which doesn't make uh, sense to me because if you're not getting co-op you will be graduating most likely in fall 2023 and this course is being offered only during winter terms not in fall terms so this is a very important point to know that if you guys take this course early and complete it early and if unfortunately you don't get this course particularly in the next winter suppose you don't take in first term and you t plan to take in your last term and suppose you don't get the course in the last term so there is one option to either send an email to professor and ask request them that please give me one seat because i don't have any seat and this is the last term of my curriculum but sometimes if the professor disagrees with your request then you will have to simply waste four months of your time and you will have to sit again 
uh, for in the curriculum and complete your course uh, back then again in the next winter or next fall so make sure that you take this course uh, as early as possible yes we need yeah. so moving on to ELG 5214 which is deep learning and reinforcement learning I haven't done, done this course uh, because uh, I ran out of my seats uh, so so this comes under category uh, F, if I'm not wrong, it comes. Uh, you you can you should be doing one course from either applications or uh, uh, foundations. So this course comes under foundations, but I recommend uh, taking this course because as an AI student, uh, there are very less courses uh, in AI, and uh, deep learning is definitely uh, the course which you have to aim at. This is being offered by the Caltech University. Uh, that's why you don't find the timings uh, here, but instead we, uh, Pankaj would be posting the Calton courses uh, link as well where you can go there and see when this course is being offered and this course is not restricted to uh, AI students. This is available for general e ECE students as well. So I'm sure like uh, most of them from general ECE would be aiming at this course so and also there are only 10 seats so the competition is not 30 uh, it's around more than 30 it would be 50 each in each academic year so if uh, yeah I, I'm, I'm looking at this course also if I'll be continuing till winter I'll be uh, doing this course in winter so you can consider me as one of the competitor for this uh, course so so because of these reasons i tell you that to enroll in winter first so yeah so you can choose other courses from applications but those are not that worth according to me so this is this is a really good course deep learning i got to know it from my friends so you will be learning deep learning by, uh, from this course there's no other course which is offering deep learning uh, so the assignments, I, I guess there's assignment project as well as a final exam for this. Okay. Uh, since I haven't taken the course, I don't know about the weightage about it, but yeah. yeah. So moving on to next course, which is GNG 5125. Uh, GNG means general engineering. This is available for all across all the engineering. It's for general ECE, EC with AI, even the computer science students can take this GNG courses. The mechanicals, the civils, uh, these students can also take so all these would be competing for those 25 uh, seats so this is a combined class so the combined class there's a DTI program called uh, data transformation and innovation in uh, uh, U Ottawa so out of those uh, 60 uh, 40, um, 35 are reserved for DTI students and 25 is for general so 25 it's now a bigger picture it was 100 before for deep learning now uh, including all the students it would be around i'm sure it's 300 people competing for uh, 25 seats so so if you're watching this video uh, then i would recommend first come to winter and select these courses so data science applications is uh, taught by professor arya he's very good in nlp like uh, I, I took this course so there were four assignments, group assignments and a project and two individual assignments on Python that was very easy. You can easily walk away with uh, uh, A plus in this uh, course. Uh, just listen to his lectures. Uh, it's on NLP. So I'm recommending these courses because AI, you have a lot of things to do. So one is deep learning, one is NLP. And uh, in fall, there's basic uh, machine learning course. I would talk about it uh, later. So if you follow this program uh, structure, which I tell you, you would be covering a lot of uh, things around AI. So this is an NLP course. Uh, so I would recommend you to uh, take this course. Uh, so this is about it. And uh, when seen in other courses like uh, in, uh, in winter, we don't have much, but uh, under uh, applications where you have to do one application course for sure, uh, but uh, that is not being offered, uh, not many are being offered in uh, uh, winter, uh, but uh, there is one course this, uh, the, I don't know, I haven't done this course. Uh, uh, sensing for smart cities something but this is one of the course and again if you are looking to do this course your my available seats are only 10 <laughs> so this for this 10 uh, seats uh, 
again multiple students would be competing uh, so as part of uh, applications i did machine vision course in winter but machine vision is unfortunately not being offered this winter probably it might be offered next winter uh, so there was another course in uh, applications called uncertainty measurements but that is also not being offered in winter probably they might update the winter list uh, when closer when we move closer to winter but i would recommend you to enroll in this for anyways uh, you for the winter is in jan and you have time till uh, jan 20th at least uh, to uh, swap your courses to drop your courses to uh, so these are the four courses you should be looking at uh, during winter perfect so thank you vinit uh, for giving us a very good insight on the winter courses so here is the list of the winter courses students so you can take these courses irrespective of whether they are in winter or whether they are in fall uh, when in 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 your uh, case of studies so since uh, students will be watching this over the year so you can take these courses at your time as well so it might be in winter or fall or summer so make sure that you take these courses because this is the courses that is taken by vinith or he knows the people who have taken these courses moving ahead vinith uh, could you please elaborate us on the fall term courses yeah for the fall term uh, for ec with ai uh, the Uh, coming to the category A as mentioned in the video earlier so uh, there is this professional skills and responsibility so i i sorry i am sorry i wanted to uh, interrupt you the category that he is mentioning is present in the first uh, in the starting in the beginning of the slide so he had mentioned category a b c d e f g h so that it will be easy for you guys to understand so he is mentioning those categories if you have started the video watching video from between so you will not understand what category he is mentioning so it's just an insight that you have to watch the video from beginning yeah this categories are uh, cooked up by me uh, in order to explain you better uh, so if you are wondering where these categories are found on the website you don't find it anywhere yeah. it's just that i am telling uh, i gave it those names in order to explain you better so th this professional skills and responsibility is a mandatory course just like in ethics but everyone the students who start their masters uh, should complete this in their first tri semester so since fall 2022 is your uh, first semester you should be enrolling in this course in fall 2022 itself so uh, as seen like uh, this is like you would be knowing um, like you would be exploring it on your own it's not that difficult it's basically like how uh, you'll have sessions like a resume writing linkedin profile building and the other stuff it's more or less uh, very easy it's not very technical so but it's useful so as a master student like it's useful especially when you are uh, from a different country and you have started uh, and you entered canada recently so this course is helpful and it's mandatory so you don't have an option to run away from this course so yeah so uh, so i seen like uh, uh, the days and time tuesday 8:30 to 11:20 you would be having one class and once you select that class uh, in the next screen you have to either choose a wednesday session or thursday session one among that is uh, mandatory so but uh, you you would not be able to choose wednesday session because you will have uh, overlap with one other course which is being offered in fall i will talk about that course probably in, in next few minutes but uh, i would recommend you to uh, select the thursday session uh, because wednesday session you'll have a clash uh, with the other course so you have to select the thursday session which is 8911 and then uh, add it to your cart so this is about the professional skills and responsibility so this is this comes under category a okay and yeah so the other mandatory course is uh, applied machine learning i i think it's category b or c i don't remember in the order of the program requirements but this is also a compulsory course so this course is very uh, basic uh, it covers the basics of uh, machine learning 
so the professor is also great uh, and uh, yeah so you have uh, group assignments i believe like i don't uh, like four assignments and uh, a project you have mid you have quizzes as well but you don't have a final exam you have only a project but uh, you learn a lot if you are new to ai uh, the basics of machine learning will be covered in this uh, thing and the assignments are on uh, numerical data so these courses i have picked i mean like the based on this course uh, you would be able to do the deep learning and uh, uh, the data science applications course in winter so yeah i recommend you to enroll this course in fall because this is being offered in fall itself uh, not in uh, winter term so enroll in this course and uh, most of my friends like uh, have completed this course in the first uh, term itself so uh, there are 20 seats and uh, probably you uh, the new ones would joining us would not more than 15 or so so you should be able to get this course uh, for sure so that's the reason uh, these courses are easy to be enrolled into that's why you need to focus on enrolling into winter courses uh, first, I uh, can't stress more enough on that. So this is about uh, applied machine learning, and yeah. So moving on to communication and influence for engineers. Uh, yeah. So this is. Uh, so we have a program requirement category F, I believe, or G. I uh, know it's category F. So you have to do either uh, one of the G and G five one two zero three zero or four zero. In fall, uh, 5120 and 5130 are being offered. I personally did 5130, even Pankaj did 5130. Uh, so, but few of my friends did 5120, but uh, I got to know from them that the professor is not uh, that uh, great and he's not that good grader. But uh, this 5130, uh, in short, we call Business Communication and Influence BCI. So this one is very useful, uh, like you would know how to communicate with uh, even the interviewers and uh, uh, interviewers at some times, like uh, uh, since this is one of the mandatory courses to do, I would encourage you to take this course along with uh, applied machine learning and uh, professional skills uh, to complete your uh, three courses in fall because you will be new to Canada, you will have a lot of things to adapt with, you will have to find uh, uh, probably internships if not internships you should be finding the part times so you need it will be very new and it would be very hectic uh, the first time trust me so if you choose uh, two easy courses like professional skills and the BCI 513 GNG 5130 along with a little bit tougher ELG 5255 you should be able to get good grades in fall and if you get good grades in fall uh, you are uh, co-op thing won't be if you are if you are if you are made eligible they won't remove remove you from that list so you need to maintain that b plus thing so yeah so this is my suggestion like the three courses if you are looking for an additional fourth course i would recommend you to take this elg 5271 it is topics in applied ai and uh, this comes under applications category uh, by now i forgot the letters Sorry about that, but uh, in under this course, uh, it is AI for Cybersecurity course. It is offered by Professor Paula Branco and Pankaj did this course in fall 2021. Uh, so this is combined class. You would be doing it with uh, CS students. I think Pankaj would be able to talk about this course. So to be uh, more precise and accurate on BCI, so I had personally taken BCI and the professor is Peter Fillmore and uh, it is one of the best course that and it's easy course uh, to take. Uh, so please go ahead and take it. Uh, I have I know uh, Peter Fillmore professor personally and he's one of uh, one of the great professors and definitely will be a uh, very very easy and very helpful course if you're uh, going ahead in 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 business and in 
uh, sales kind of view and also uh, the topics and AI uh, I have also mentioned this in uh, my uh, video on fall courses that I took in MCS masters in computer science so the professor is Paula Branco she is one of the best professors as well and uh, uh, here it is basically you will have three assignments to do uh, and there will be a paper presentation as well as a final project so three assignments are basically individual assignments followed by paper presentation which will be group and followed by uh, the final project again it's group again for this it is not required that you know AI and ML like a lot if you even if you have a uh, enough knowledge in Python on pre-processing on data models everything data modeling so that's more than enough in order to complete all the assignments and it's pretty easy course and it's very easy to get good grades so but, uh, I would yeah. say don't burden yourself by taking yes. applied machine learning along with uh, this course because applied ML is gonna be at a master's level it's completely at a master's yeah. level if you are not very comfortable with AI and ML uh, a lot then uh, you would be spending a lot of time in applied ML yeah. that's the reason I have recommended you to take uh, professional skills as well as the BCI you don't have to uh, put much uh, mental work into these courses mm -hmm. though you have uh, things to do in this but you don't have to do put a lot of mental work into these courses so if you are aiming at a fourth course I would recommend you to choose this topics in applied AI perfect Thank you so much, uh, Vineet, for helping us out with all the questions, all the queries, all the doubts that we had uh, before uh, watching this video. And now we are completely clear with almost all the doubts. Thank you so much. Also, uh, would you like to give any suggestions or any guidance to the students, to the upcoming students? Yeah, sure. Uh, firstly, you are most welcome, Pankaj. Like, uh when you asked uh, me to do this like I was not hesitant because I didn't have this guidance uh, uh, especially for this program yeah. so whatever I felt like I shared in this uh, video and yeah sure there are certain pointers like uh, which I would like to share uh, in general uh, it's just not for EC with AI but any master student so most of the coursework which we do is in form of groups so it's very hard to find like minds uh, like us. It's, it has been it was difficult for me to uh, deal with certain uh, members of my group previously in my previous coursework. But then you have to stick with them because uh, uh, like you, you have already chosen that team. So it's quite stressful, but I, I hope you'll get used to it. Uh, yeah, but uh, but then if you have an opportunity to choose your teammates, be wise in choosing them uh, because yeah, so you'll be have you'll have to deal with them uh, throughout the term, and uh, not just one course, all the courses will have group work to do. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind. Just don't think about your uh, friends should be in your group or not, but then find someone who is really good that at that and who is working hard like you that's one of the pointers i hope you can relate to it as yeah. well yeah so perfect minute thank you so much uh, for spending a, quite a lot of time uh, with us today so that the students gets all their doubt cleared and i think this video will definitely help all the students out there uh, who are going to pursue or who are currently pursuing the masters of engineering in electrical and computer engineering with general specialization also with the specialization in applied ai so thank you so much vinit uh, i really thank you for all your time and uh, students out there and everyone out there if you have any doubts any more questions that you'd like to ask us please do mention in the comment section of the video and we will be here to help you all me and Vinit, both of us will be there to uh, give answers to your questions also i'll be mentioning the linkedin profile of my as well as we need in the uh, comment section uh, in the description section and you guys can connect to both of us and you can also uh, 
uh, ask questions over LinkedIn as well. So, but it's it's obvious that it's better that uh, you ask the questions in the description because this way, uh, in the comment section, this way uh, others also can see your question and they can relate uh, their uh, experience or their questions with yours. So. Thank you all for watching this video. This was a lengthy video, but this is quite informative video wherein where you will not get anywhere in the internet. Uh, I hope this video would be helpful to you all. Thank you so much.